Hi guys, welcome to another Living SATV video, David here. So today we are going to Soweto to check another JDA project called the Jebulani Safa Safe Hub. Don't you believe me? Stay tuned because once again this video will blow your mind. Show this place is amazing guys, you guys need to see this. Okay guys, so in order to show you guys this project, we're going to meet Tabu and Tabu is actually the manager, the facility manager of the complex. So I want to show you guys because this place is amazing, you guys really need to see this. Hi, Hi. Tabu, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you saying? Very good man. So what are we going to do today? So we're going to do a walk around just to check out the facility uh -huh. and check each and every component in terms of what is it that we do here at Safe Hub Jablani? Perfect, let's do that. I'm so excited because this place looks like alive and kicking and all that. That's so amazing. Another project done by the JDA guys. Okay, let's go. Thank you so much. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So Tabu, what do we have here? I can see there is a place for the kids to be, right? And, and this is beautiful because this is actually done for the community, right? Correct. So Correct. tell us more about it. So this is a digital library. Yeah. Uh, we do ECD programs here, uh, early childhood uh, uh, development, right? And then we also have what we call Kiddies Zone, right? Mm -hmm. So since we have different components here, we've got youth cafe, we run skills development here, We've got a lot of activities that are taking place, right? Mm -hmm. So say for an example, you are a mother or a father and you've got a kid and you want to access uh, the skills development here, you can come with your child and you leave them for two hours here and attend any training here. And then once you're done with the training, you can come back and... and are you serious? That's so amazing. Yes. So if, if imagine I have my child, I leave the child here, I go for training and, and, and someone will take care of the child for me. Well. With no, no cost. Yes, someone trained. Wow, that's yes. so amazing. Yes. So oh. this is our reception area. Uh -huh. So this is where you find most of the information here, uh -huh. especially with respect to the prison. Right? So we've got different partners around uh, or inside the, pre the prison. And then you can come here and you can meet our prison coordinators. And what type of trainings do you do here? So we run your financial literacy programs, we run your job readiness programs, we run your business literacy, we've got yoga, we've got early childhood programs, we've got uh, age of football uh, programs, as well as your life skills programs where we teach the community in terms of the substance abuse, you know, uh, crimes, all these type of uh, topics you can think of. Wow, that's amazing. So I see now we got some people here sitting down. What's happening here? So this is what we call um, multi-purpose uh, court, right? Uh -huh. So here you can either run your netball, your basketball, you know, all those type of uh, activities that you can run inside here. Mm -hmm. And also we then also use this site as a training center if we are fully booked. And we have a, a large number of participants who would like to come and access our programs here. Let's say you've got about 300 uh, participants who would like to have, uh, uh, be in a certain training. You can book this site and be able to deliver training. Wow, wow. And I can see outside we actually have uh, football fields. Yes. 
So there is a lot of talent being uh, being taken here from yes. Soweto. Do we have any superstar now playing on the on the PLS? We we we, we have superstars that are playing here, uh -huh. not specifically PS, uh, PSL, but uh -huh. uh, we've got a program called uh, Playmakers. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's edgy football where we've got a couple of playmakers uh, registering for our program, mm -hmm. which in Jablani we've got 13 playmakers and we've got about four people that are also implementing programs on this field. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you can look at the field right now, we've got um, two teams. The black uh, uh, black shirt team, team, yeah. Yes, the playmakers. Yeah. And then the blue team is the community uh, team. Wow. So they are playing against each other. That's right? amazing. Yeah. So it's yeah. cool because you guys, you guys are literally using local, you know, sourced, Correct. you know, talent in order to. That's beautiful. Yes. Wow. So right now, um, so what we implement most of the time here is the soccer um, activities and also we've got what we call off-pitch uh, activities so it's not only soccer yeah. but uh, we do have like your marava rava with different groups yeah. and we also this is a five side okay. pitch so if you can look at the pitch we've got like four uh, four different fields so exactly. four teams can also can actually four games at the same time exactly. wow and this is accessed by the community organizations that we work with uh -huh. you know, and everyone else in, 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 in Soweto. Awesome. Yes. Okay, let's see. Is this going all the way down there? Yes, yes it's still, that's, that's the swimming pool that we're going to take. Ah, that's the swimming pool. Okay. Let's see the rest because we, this is huge. Let's finish this facility. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's do it. So, how many people do you actually, do you guys, um, how many people actually access to the center in a daily basis? Yeah. So it's over 10,000 you know, a month, uh, people come in accessing our, our facility. And, and, and for this project, what was the, the positivity or the positive aspects that brought to the community here in Soweto? Um, this is a life-changing project, you know, uh, mm -hmm. from, from early uh, childhood development to youth and also children. But just to show you quickly, here, yeah. so remember the Playmaker program that I told you about? You, who are you? So this is where the magic happens. Uh -huh. So they plan all the programs that are being implemented on the pitch. Wow. So these are our champions. So this is like the, st the st strategic part of it. Yes. Thank you ladies, the amazing. Most important part. Female power. <laughs> yes. That's it, let's do it. Woman empowerment. Yes. Thank you, amazing. So it's a life changing project, you know, from yeah. childhood to you and also to retire child uh, uh, parents or participants yeah? mm. because if they can come and access uh, our our facility and we have what we call night leaks so this is where uh, the retired and also adults can come and participate wow it's it, it doesn't discriminate any age doesn't, everyone can come. cool doesn't. stuff so i can see this is like what the coffee shop it's uh, what we call the coffee let me show you okay that side okay let's do that side Hi everyone! <laughs> wow, how's it guys? How are you? Good, wow! So, this is what we call Youth Cafe. Uh -huh. uh, it's been accessed by different SMEs, uh, youth who are actually studying, they would like to access Wi Fi, and we've got a lot of opportunities that we offer from this side. Mm -hmm. You know, like the ones that I've mentioned, the job skills uh, programs, job readiness, and the CVs. So, if you can look at our uh, window there, there's mm -hmm. a number of opportunities that we do. Oh, that's incredible. And then you have also like the books and all that if people want to get uh, you know starting <laughs> voyage moon dream <laughs> so cool man this is so amazing but i can get you someone who can quickly come and just explain the whole concept for you mm. yeah, so no but i get it i get it yeah. basically this 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 coffee shop prepares people yes. for the real life for, for the me. For for the um, professional world, yes. put it this way, and this is so cool. I just want to make sure, and this is so cool because why you can have drinking your coffee, enjoying a soccer game live, and and this. 
And Tabu, and this is what you mentioned, right? So what what we have in these pa pamphlets? So this is a pamphlet that is more like a awareness mm -hmm. campaign mm -hmm. about Nyaupe, you know, just to make oh, the, the drug, yes. The drug. So it's okay. a drug campaign. Uh -huh. uh, 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 flyer. Uh -huh. uh, so you got for Niaupe, you got uh, everything basically that that can educate the community into something. Violence, you know, ah, okay, flyer. and based violence. Yeah, okay. You know, we've got like a lot of uh, flyers that you know, family, you know, preservation mm -hmm. flyers. Yes. This is so cool. So there is no excuse, you know, not to improve the community. Yes. Yeah. So Tabo, what are we gonna do next? So now I'm gonna take the access and we gonna see our shared space. Shared space, let's do it. That's that will be amazing. So digital lab. So we're doing this live with no cuts. <laughs> Straightforward, that's what it is. Real life footage, vlogging. <laughs> so meetings here. Wow. So there's some trophies. Yes. So tell us, Tabu, tell us. This is our shared space. Uh -huh. so this is where we work with different uh, partners. So we've got SafeUp, we've got Arlabs, we've got Vets, we've got ILED, and we've got uh, programs, you know. So they are sharing this space to then co-create and co-collaborate in the same space. Mm. So, so basically they bring all the skills up right. to reach uh, an objective. Right. I think it's so beautiful. With another beautiful view from the soccer field. <sighs> yeah. Go for it. So what you see on my right here is what we call counseling room. Counseling room, so yeah. we've got what we call psychosocial support, right? So, so they can uh, come and utilize this room to be able to support our staff and support the community. Yes. That's amazing. It's like coming to a psychologist. Correct. That's so cool, man. Yeah. We should we should apply that on our educational system. Yeah. And then wow. we've got our bathroom here where we hold our meetings and all the partners are actually are, uh, are, are welcome to come and actually utilize the space and then we've got another meeting room where we also meet as a team. Oh, okay. Awesome. No, you guys, you guys look really, really well organized. Because, like, you guys prepare the community, you source local, um, what you call local talent. You guys sort, you guys, I man, you're doing a wonderful, you know, work here. Yeah. That pool. I need to see that pool. Look at this. Guys, this is luxury in Soweto. Shit. I'm, I'm telling you, I wish I could see more stuff like this in more townships. Africa. Uh, currently we've got nine sites. This one, we've got another one in Alex, we've got another one in Tembisa, we've got another one in Western Cape, we've got three in Western Cape, and then we've got another two in, in Chesitin, and sure. one in Limbo. Wow, that's so amazing. Well, let's now go to, so, the, to the swimming pool. We're gonna see. Come on guys, let's score! Come on! Say, say, sorry, Tabu. So, what I'm about to show you now uh -huh. is the digital lab. <gasps> so, we've got a partner called Arlet who are utilizing this space for all the digital programs that we have on site. So, we've got your coding, we've got your um, uh, digital uh, marketing programs, all those type of uh, digital wow. skills that we are. We are, are you uh, serious? Uh, this is the project that I've seen that the community actually is engaged and taking from it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow! Brother, Tabu, please, you mind, my brother? So, it is a class, but you can take pictures and videos. You see, guys, everyone here engaged who's in the computers. Can you guys tell me what you think of being here? Nice environment. Thank you so much. Wow. Very welcoming. You will invite everyone to come to the Jablani Safe Hub. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. What other surprises do we have? We've got a lot of surprises. More? 
I'm going to take you to the other side. That side? Yeah, so the, the three to the vet's house. Okay, uh, Tabu, tell us, brother. Okay, we are in the vet's house offices. Uh -huh. uh, it's a short space also. Uh, this is where they operate. Uh, I think uh, they can introduce themselves in terms of what is it that they do. Okay. Yeah. What is your name and what do you do here? Uh, hi, I'm Sylvia, Sylvia Thais, and I'm a research assistant. So I assist basically with your research. We have 25 advocates and I'm basically in control of like where they go, bookings and so on. Perfect, thank you so much. <laughs> what is your name? Hi, I'm Daniel Katio and I'm responsible for the team here at Jablani. So what the Vital Hub does is we are a research syndicate of the Vital Hub. So we do different researches and one of the research we're currently doing is with 25 learners where we check their progress if health actually impacts sorry about that if health actually impacts them being in employment so in a period of 12 months so now they is it the six, six months, months six yeah, months in there so yesterday we actually did our second health checks to see if there's any progress since they've been employed so is there changes in their health? So there actually is a change. So which means that if you're employed, you actually take better care of your health. So that's what we do. That's amazing. And you? Hi, I'm Bastana Marumo. I'm also a research assistant. So I'm I'm comms here. Yeah. I deal with the social media side of the Pets Health Hub and I also plan events, health campaign that we have on a monthly basis. Thank you so much. And you? I um I'm Thomas Maposa, and what I do here is monitoring and evaluation. I'm also a research assistant. Whatever data they do when we, the health advocates go to the community and they do health checks, um, I import that, uh, I put it in my laptop and compile reports and all that. So I deal with monitoring, filing, and everything that's me. Monitoring and evaluation. So you guys are basically a research hub? Yes. Okay, yes, good, yes, great. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is our second counseling room. Sure, this is mad what you guys are doing here. That's amazing, eh? I'm really proud of this project. There's eh? a nice view here also where you can also still watch activities. Yes. The VIP room. <laughs> so this is fascinating. This is fascinating, eh? Look at this, brother. This is like, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of this project, eh? This is our meeting room. This is where we meet with the team and we come up with ideas, innovative ideas. The brainstorm room. I'm actually, I'm so happy to see this because they're actually doing an amazing stuff here for, for the community in Soweto. Wow. So this is where the 25 students for Heads Health mm -hmm. uh, uh, study. So what? Study what? So is that only in supports that you guys source talent? You guys also source talent in other areas like social working, psychology, because there are a lot of brains here, people very talented that sometimes they can't even go to varsity, you know? Yes. And it's beautiful, you know, because here it gives you like a a sense that you can accomplish more yes. even knowing that that you, that you are here you know right. it's it's amazing it's beautiful yes so 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 what we try to do as a mandla uh, safe up is that we try to find the relevant uh, uh, and vibrant partners in so to to partner with to make sure that this facility is utilized at a maximum capacity you know and this you know, we're not we are not just focused on one thing but we've got a variety of Focus is where we make sure that these partners that we bring in make sure that there is an impact in the community. There is more quality coming, more. Uh, uh, it's, it's it's beautiful because people working together to 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 achieve a, a common goal. Yes. You know, it's, it's amazing. I love this. I love this. I love this. And we we have what we call collective impact meetings uh -huh. and sessions. So that is where the common goal actually is coming from. So we are working with different partners, even the ones that are not even on site you know we've got other partners that are operating of the, uh, the, the the site and they come once a month we used to do it uh, bi-weekly so now we are doing it once a month to make sure that uh, we achieve the, the common goal amazing thank you so much Shabba. thank you
guys, this is a wrap. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I'm so proud to see this project and the work that the JDA has done because that work only makes sense when we got capable of people taking good care of this place as it is and they're actually making this difference for the community and i never seen a place where the community actually is engaging into so much more guys i'm so proud of seeing this guys anyway guys be my guest come here make sure you subscribe and start that like button and i will see you in the next living in SATP video